Hello YouTube, want you to meet my latest and greatest project. Maybe not the greatest, but certainly the latest. This is my Ruger 1022 that I've been working on. This started life only about a little more than a month ago as a 1022 carbine out of the box. As you can see, it is no longer a standard 1022 carbine. You have to excuse the noise behind me, throwing some snow removal because it snowed here again. I'm actually out the range, had to shovel off everything just to even be able to shoot. But let's see what's been done to this gun. Again, it started off as a 1022 carbine. I replaced the stock. This is a Hogue overmolded stock. A lot of people said, go with the Magpul, go with the Magpul. Nice stock, but I don't need the expense. And I really like the Hogue. It's got a nice feeling to it. It's that, that stock is really nice on this gun. I just put the BX trigger, Ruger Factory BX trigger, in two, three days ago. This is the first time I've had to the range since I shot it without the factory trigger. And at this BX trigger, Ruger, I'm sorry, you should put this in every 1022 off the line. That trigger that's in the 1022 that comes out of the factory, unless it's a target version which has the BX trigger, sucks. So I put one in. Next to that, you'll see that magazine release. That is an IL Manufacturing, A-S-I-S-L-E Manufacturing. Uh, magazine release. It is amazing. It's very positive. None of these parts, by the way, are hard to put in. If you watch the simple instructions on how to put these parts in, it's not very hard. Uh, there is a Shaw barrel, 16 and a half inch barrel. I was going to go with the Volkwardsen. To be honest, I'm glad I didn't. The barrel on this gun really balances out. It helps with the weight. Because my problem with the car, with the Ruger 1022 is I always felt they were just a little too light to be able to shoot and hold in, in one place. There is a Caldwell bipod on here. I will have to look up the name of this uh, bolt handle, this charging handle, because I cannot remember it off the top of my head. The scope is a Simmons uh, Whitetail Classic Fixed 4. And a lot of people are saying, well, gee, why don't you use an adjustable? Because where I live, 120, 125 yards is as much as you're going to see, and that's here at the range. I've never even seen a squirrel or a small game up here out that far. You rarely even see deer past 50, 60 yards. So I don't need a huge adjustable reticle scope on this gun. And I may eventually try a red dot on this, but I really like the scope. Um, that's pretty much all the modifications been to it. The one thing I say about the shot barrel, and I wish... It wasn't the case because of where I live, and unfortunately the state, you cannot have a threaded barrel on a semi-automatic rifle unless the barrel threads are welded. And that's exactly what's been done to this gun. Um, that, that, uh, well, that cap on there ain't coming off. That's got enough JB weld on there. The only way to get that off is to heat it. But overall, this is a... I've, I've had several 1022s in my life. I've shot them. I've had them. The first, tw first 22 rifle I ever owned was a 1022, brand new. There was just something about them that always bugged me where I just ended up getting rid of them. This one has solved that problem. This gun has the balance. It has everything I wanted in a 1022. It's got a good trigger, finally. And the other thing, and I promised that I would show you this in another video. I'm going to link to you the two videos you will need to do this modification. And that is to make your own 22 short conversion for a, for a 1022 mag. It'll work in a 1022 as long as you use the right ammo. If you use the CCI 22 short, it has a muzzle velocity of around 1070, 1080. That is the same muzzle velocity as their standard velocity ammo. It's the same as most of your standard velocity target ammo. They all balance right around in there. If you use that ammo and not the lower 700, 800 feet per second stuff, I find it cycles perfectly. And I'm going to show you when I'm done how well that cycles. I'm going to shoot. I have I have the 1022 mag here. Matter of fact, I'll walk you around real quick. You can see that it's loaded with 20 with uh, 22 shorts, and you see that plastic ring. You will see that in the videos I link to you. The reason I'm linking you two videos is one shows you how to do the modification, but he doesn't show you how to reassemble that 22 mag correctly. A Ruger 1022 mag has a spring in there, and it has to be wound correctly to get the proper tension back on it once you put it back together. I will link you that video as well. Make sure you watch them both before you do this. 
This, if you find 10, because my gun shop's up here, I can find 22 short. Nobody buys it. Nobody uses it because most people, oh, it doesn't work in anything. It does in the older guns, and they think, well, you got a 10 22, it won't cycle. It will if you do it correctly. Well, Quartzen used to make their own magazines, and they stopped making them years ago because there was no demand for them. And now there's a demand for them, but you can make your own. And I would suggest using the clear mag so you can see better. Um, but you can use any mag. And I would suggest you, it, personally, if you can find it, shoot it. But with that being said, I'm going to set up this gun so you can see how well it cycles. And I'll show you the target. You'll see the first target I'm going to show you is a little silhouette target. I've already got this gun sighted in. You'll see that was with two magazines worth of CCI standard velocity ammo at 30 yards. And it's just basically one hole. And the next one is going to be, I'm going to shoot above that, that little black square. And that's where I'm going to fire the 22 shorts to see if it does basically the same thing. So hopefully that will all work out. 22 loaded up with 22 shorts. As you can see, let's see, make sure that hopefully they cycle like they did before. There's one. Seeing one hole for him down at the range. And there's a where's one malfunction right there. The last spent casing did not eject. And it didn't it did not cycle the last round. Okay, YouTube, I got the last round that didn't cycle loaded in the mag. All right, so other than that, the first rounds cycled and ejected fine from the modified 1022 mag and you'll see you can see the o-ring and you'll see in the video this is made from a piece of half inch uh, PVC pipe well okay YouTube there you go this target was at 30 yards the target in the black square is two magazines worth of the CCI standard velocity that is 20 rounds and the holes at the top of that were those 22 shorts I was aiming at, except for two pliers. Um, it's another pretty much just one hole, and that's mostly thanks to that trigger. That BX trigger is very smooth, got a very smooth reset on it. Um, I really, I have got some match ammo stowed away just for the hell of it, and I would kind of really like to try match ammo on this just to see it and see how it shoots. So, with that being said, YouTube, I mean, this is not an expensive modification. To a 1022, um, if you want to go out and build one yourself, and you can always resell the old parts. I'm going to resell the old trigger group. You see them on eBay all the time. I already resold the old barrel. I pretty much recouped about half my cost on the barrel just by selling the original one on YouTube or on, excuse me, on eBay because it had never been shot, at least not out, by, by me outside of the factory. So, I mean, whatever rounds went through it were test rounds. I never fired a round through the new barrel. So, it's whoever got it, got a new barrel, new sights, everything. Um, but, I, like I said, I recouped about half my cost. I'm going to throw the stock on eBay. I plan on selling the, the trigger group. And if I can make some, some money back on what I spent, fine. I mean, but again, it wasn't an expensive modification. Um, certainly not in the range of what you see some of these custom guns going for. They're well into thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400 or better. I wasn't even half that. So that being said, YouTube, that's my uh, my Ruger 1022 custom, and have a good day.